morning about the proposed amendment of the Prevention of Terrorism Act. The groups have faulted a requirement that civil society organizations working in countering violent extremism be approved by the National Counterterrorism Center. And our cost based reporter Tobias Chanji now joins us live for more details. Chanji, good morning. What concerns do the civil society groups have? Individuals must seek uh, very good morning, Michelle. Remember last week, President Uhuru Kenyatta signed into law the Miscellaneous Amendment Act. Among the acts were 11 acts, where among them uh, was the Prevention of uh, Terrorism uh, Act where, among others, uh, there's been the expansion of the National uh, Counter-Terrorism Center, which will now include the Kenya Police Service, uh, the Foreign Affairs Ministry, the Director of Public Prosecution, uh, the Kenya Wildlife Service, and the Kenya Prison uh, Service. Now the civil society in the coast, remember that a coast bore the brand of uh, the violent extremism. Uh, talking about the extrajudicial killings, uh, you talk about forced disappearances. Uh, coast has been on the lead and these are among the issues uh, that now the civil side here uh, says that maybe uh, the government agencies uh, might be interfering with the work uh, but I'll just uh, to bring you to speed I'll just indulge uh, some of them to just uh, give us uh, their fears. Welcome to KT News uh, Live. Uh, just your name sir then uh, name. what are your fears? My name is Zedekia Adika um, I'm an advocate. I work at Kituo Chasheria um, like you've given a background, sometimes in April this year, the government came up with uh, a miscellaneous amendment bill and uh, they sought views from people. Actually, the days that were given to people were less than seven days that is required for views to be presented. But what matters to us or what mattered to us so much in uh, that miscellaneous amendment bill were the following issues. One, that... Uh, as a miscellaneous amendment bill, they were trying to, um, to amend an act and that had uh, substantive provisions on the POTA, uh, the Prevention of Terrorism Act, uh, Kenya. So the substantive amendment bill seems to get into the house and actually into the bedroom, for lack of a better word, of civil society organizations. Because it is saying that the reports that we do should be provided to uh, government through NCTC. And we think that is uh, going beyond the boundary that government should do. As civil societies, we are regulated. And the institution that regulates civil societies entirely in, in Kenya is uh, the NGO board. Um, as it stands now, then it seems we are reporting to two institutions. We are going to report to uh, the NGO board, and we're also reporting to NCTC with, with this act. And that is not a substantive law. That is a, 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 a law a provision, an amendment that is provided through a miscellaneous provision. Uh, now, what is the problem? Uh, the problem with us is, first of all, it does not give proper time for public participation. The reach is wide. They are talking about international NGOs. They are talking about local NGOs. Uh, number two, what is the mischief that we are trying to treat? Were we given do documents showing research that there is need for us to amend this so that the public knows entirely that our representatives in government are going to talk on our behalf on this law for these reasons? There was nothing like that. What was thrown to us was a, were provisions in a miscellaneous amendment bill touching on 11 laws. And that, we think, is a principle that uh, uh, contravenes the Constitution that requires that people do public participation. Okay. Yep. Maybe we can get uh, some other two views, maybe. Uh. OK. Um, my name is Salma. I also work with civil society, an organization called Haki Africa. And as an organization, we are saying that uh, this uh, miscellaneous amendment bill will not work for an NGO like ours or any other civil society. First of all, we will lose that trust from the community, knowing that whatever they share with us, first of all, we have to seek approval from NCTC, which is a government entity. And then also they will know that their lives are not secured because most of the issues that are tackling are very sensitive. So you can imagine someone telling you what they have undergone, Ama, what are their fears, and then you go and report it to NCTC. The government officials, whereby they know they will go back to them. 
So that work that and that trust that is between us and the community is just going to fade away and uh, we will lose it. And then also as an independent entity, because we are not supposed to be governmental, we are saying that if we report to the government, then we are turning ourselves to be into government institutions. So this is something that we are saying it's not workable for an NGO or any other civil society and we are not for it. Okay. So from these deliberations, what next? From this, we are going to say that we are going to do public advocacy so that this message can go through to them. And as we have joined here together, we are going to agree on certain points that we are going to present them to the government or to NCTC so that they can reconsider uh, on this issue and see how best they can amend it. Also, we can see clarification what they mean when they say that they want us to be reporting to them. Okay, then you can get from the last participant, just your name. Then. Okay, I'm Dixon Okongo. I represent. I work with the youth organization. I think this is one thing that we are saying since 2013. The government have been shrinking the civic space for civil society organization, and this is one of the one of the ways that now the government is using to shrink that civic space. So, as a youth organization and a civil society organization, I think this is high time that we come together and we demand for this space so that we should not be the government should not think of anything each and every day then slap us with a law that we don't understand where it's coming from yeah okay you have anything to add yeah I think uh, a good number of uh, civil society organizations actually have uh, legal uh, confidentiality um, when there is a requirement that we must report or seek approval it means then uh, that the government actually wants to get information which is contrary to the legal practice so there are so many uh, challenges with the implementation of this but more importantly we want the government to develop goodwill When you start putting sanctions and demands, you know, it actually erodes the public trust, it erodes the goodwill of civil society organizations. So let government uh, be open, trust civil society, and we will work together to address uh, violent extremism. Uh, well, Michelle, as you've heard, those are the fears from some of the civil society here in Coast Region concerning uh, that miscellaneous amendment act. I will just be here getting to know about their deliberations as we see what pans out. Back to you in studio. Things that is a uh, Tobias Chanji from the coastal region. And uh, from that, let's talk uh, parliamentary matters now. And uh, members of parliament are on the receiving end of uh, the numerous allowances they have.